Why does every guy cheat on you? Trust me, I know. How come girls always call you their friend? I can tell you. We'll talk about your strength and we'll talk about emotions. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Check out yours at secretsofbirthdays.com. Namaste and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Orbits Edition. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Ray Manwatecki, your astrologer and soul biographer, here to help you put the pieces of your soul biography together. We're trucking through space. The sun now has entered into the Virgo state of awareness or the IB state of awareness. This is as real as reality gets. It's the five senses. It's your health and it's the possibility of integrity and transformation. But in this particular week, we move from step two to step eight and we'll be committing to what we want to change. Looking at the moon, the moon starts in Aries, then shifts to Taurus for a couple of days where there'll be a soul pyramid in Earth, then Gemini for three days. That's going to be a little insane. And then Cancer at the end of the week where the moon will cross the grand square that we have going on. The signs most affected by this are Aries Libra, Taurus Scorpio, Gemini Sagittarius, and the Cancer Capricorn uh, spectrum is affected indeed. Now, looking at Mr. Orbitz, man. The moon, which is the fastest moving planet, is going to be what gives us uh, kind of some havoc. It starts in the root chakra, so there might be survival issues, and it goes through manifestation and ends the week in our solar plexus, so giving us stomach aches. The sun and Mercury are focusing around the heart chakra. Mercury will pass the sun this week, which means thoughts of the future can either make or break our hearts. Looking at the planets, we've got some you know, major trines going on. This soul pyramid in water, the grand trine of water, continuing forward between Jupiter, Black Lilith, Neptune and Saturn in Scorpio. Saturn in Scorpio, probably the most difficult part of that, having to be responsible with personal emotional boundaries. No more time left. Now this soul pyramid Earth, which begins with the moon in Taurus, trines up to Pluto and over to Sun Mercury in Virgo. This means that as soon as you update your emotional life, you'll see your actual physical life start to change immediately. But not change too much. That's because we're at an all stop down with the grand square or grand cross, however you want to look at it which is technically triggered by Venus in Libra. Venus in Libra is pushing for justice to be served here on the planet, and that's struggling against ego. So it's ego versus justice, kind of a classic uh, battle on Earth. And of course, Jupiter, our emotions, opposing Pluto and Capricorn, the rules. So emotions versus rules, ego versus justice. This pretty much uh, holds the traffic up on Earth. Nothing's going to change for a while, at least not in business plans, etc. probably until after Labor Day weekend. And this grand cross or grand square is really the reason why. You can see here the moon will cross through uh, Cancer uh, at the end of the week. That's where it crosses that grand square again and crosses Mars and Jupiter. So leading up to Lightcast Day next week. But before we talk about Lightcast Day and next week, let's talk about this week. Let's take the Ascension Elevator up and get a full 360 view of you. Folks, this is your captain speaking. We realize you have a choice in the astrologers you choose to fly with. And we'd just like to thank you for flying with Christopher Watecki. <laughs> Hello, my Sagittarians and Sag Risings, and welcome to 33,000 feet for a bird's eye view of you. Well, the sun moves into Virgo, shifting our awareness and our lessons this week. We've even spent the last 30 days working on belief and life purpose. Now the Sagittarius go on a career transit. Time to change your career. With the sun in Virgo, you're going to focus on decision making, what goes into a decision, and planning your future at large. You're also going to have maybe poor business deals fall apart or any kind of bad decision fall apart. That's the first week. In other news, Saturn in Scorpio is saying, time to make peace with your karmic self. Time to make peace with your karma, take the peace, make peace with your self-sabotaging behaviors. This might be you checking into a clinic, you getting into therapy, doing what it takes to make you feel good inside. So Saturn is pushing for that. And if you're not at peace, maybe it's because you're not doing it. And Uranus in Aries is pushing for Saturn to step forward with their inner child and get that inner child love story going. In some cases, you're having to start over, start from scratch. In many cases, you're in uncharted love territory. And we're talking about self-love and how self-love turns into love in the world. So as we start off this week in chapter one, we're working on the part of decision making, which is known as control. So for Sagittarius is with control issues. In other words, if you're not in control of your career, or if people are trying to control you, or if you feel controlled, these are all control issues. These are all 10th house issues. And it's all what we're talking about in the first 10 days. So Sag is very, very picky probably about 
people trying to control them in the first 10 days. Now the planets start from step two to step eight this week, so you might feel very out of control on Sunday, but by the following Saturday, back in control. <laughs> That's because by the following Saturday, you'll be making decisions of what needs to go in your life, and having made decisions alone will make you feel much better. Mercury goes from behind to in front of the sun this week, and that means our thoughts go from the past to the future. Thank goddess for that. I am tired of processing the past. Just saying. Jupiter and Cancer is still expanding things in trust and intimacy, so you're definitely feeling uneasy. You're in uncharted trust territory here, trying to build new trust in the world and yourself. Good news, Black Lilith at 8 degrees says you've at least cut away the damage from past lives. You've at least cut away the part of you that could ruin it all, right? That core, core, oh God, I could ruin everything. That's gone. And that begins to really start to heal uh, because of Black Lilith. And then lastly, Saturn in Scorpio says, it's now time to make that peace with yourself. And this is where you are facing your demons, facing your karmas, going against sober, whatever. A lot of Sagittarius have to get sober. Doing whatever it takes to restore faith in yourself. And it's very elementary right now, not very quantum, elementary. You don't have to win the Olympics, you just have to stop drinking or whatever it is. Well, last week the hard time was that full moon in Aquarius. It was a tug of war uh, between Aquarius and Leo and it was a tug of war between your thoughts or it could have been an argument. Whatever it was, it was about getting you aligned with your life purpose. And as I said last week, life purpose is what our heart desires. This week, we're taking that life purpose and uh, targeting it towards decisions and career. And on Sunday, you're quite emotional when it comes to your decisions. Now, the moon is in Aries, and it's striking your inner child. And so your inner child is probably throwing a tantrum about where things are. And you might be blaming your career or be blaming a decision. Then the moon moves into Taurus, making Monday very hyper aware. But the good news is, is it uh, trines to Pluto in Capricorn and the sun in Virgo. What this does is, by looking at your life differently or by approaching your emotional life a little differently, you'll begin to uh, shift your career or where you see your career going and where you feel you're valuable. So it's not so much, says your chart, uh, that you're, you can't make money or you're on the career, wrong career path. What Monday and Tuesday is saying with the Moon and Taurus is uh, aim for how you want to feel at work and watch how career and money shifts. It's about how you feel in the moment. And I think that's where the wisdom is, is taking you. Then on Tuesday, unfortunately, quantum breakdowns across the board. On the one hand, Jupiter and Cancer is breaking down. Uh, and that means that uh, the latest and greatest issue is self-trust or having to extend your trust. So maybe someone betrays your trust. Maybe you thought you could trust someone. So Jupiter is saying uh, definitely quantum breakdowns uh, there with trust. Then the sun also adding to maybe a decision going wrong or a career thing going wrong. So maybe some career stress. So Tuesday, definitely chances storms. The moon in Gemini might also bring in a person or a partnership or a marriage to the complicated algorithm. So it's relationships, it's trust, it's everything. But remember, what is it really? Well, it's about what goes into a decision. And that's what you're trying to clear out here. So no matter what went wrong or what you can't trust, the learning here is let's decide differently next time and what did we learn here, right? Well, on Wednesday after the breakdown, uh, emotions uh, are still in Gemini. It's moving more towards partnerships and marriage and things like that, uh, but at least Mercury rules the day. So it's about kind of breaking through and understanding what went wrong, why didn't it go good for me? Now, if you've had some career issues this week and this is all happening in career, like a fight with the boss or HR problems or something like that, Thursday, the gold star, that's probably when things will get better. Venus rolls the day on that day. And so I think you'll be restored. At the same time, uh, the moon will be in late stages of Gemini and beginning to move into Cancer, uh, which will make you more vulnerable. But I don't think it'll, I think it'll be vulnerability and wanting privacy, not so much, uh, you know, feeling like vulnerable and exposed. You, you feel vulnerable and then you'll seek privacy. But here's the thing. What we're getting to is what goes into a decision, what doesn't go into a decision, let's make a decision about decisions. The moon goes into Cancer Friday and Saturday. What that does is make you very sensitive about those trust issues. So first, moon, the moon crosses Black Lilith, which makes you affirm that you know the sky is not falling. So there's a chance of sky falling Friday night. Then Saturday, it goes to really owning up to the potential emotionally of trusting yourself. And I think it's that feeling you can trust yourself that leads you into being able to make a decision about decisions. Or feeling you can trust yourself leads you to be able to make a decision about career. And what we're basically deciding is what's gonna go. You know, cutting off the fat, cutting off what holds you back, and, and really putting your heart into your decisions, not letting your life be led by a cold bastard business. Now bring it back down to earth. 
If you want a little help getting that magic back, well, I do a 90-minute seminar called Jumpstart the Heart for $34.95. Me and nine students on, on webcam. They're on various days like Saturday and Sundays coming through the next month or two. Uh, but pick one. Come on in. Jumpstart your heart. I get a lot of people back in their heart and rejuvenate it. Also, if you want to learn how to manifest on a quantum level, Lightcast Bootcamp is my seven-week course. It begins right after Labor Day. It meets on Sundays, and 80% of my class manifests what they're aiming for. So come check it out. It's so smart, Tommy. And if you don't have time or you just want to learn on your iPhone, you can get Jumpstart Lightcasting. This is a 90-minute video that's optimized for your iPhone or your Google device. $14.95. You can watch in your leisure and learn how to manifest. This is all designed to help people grow in their spare time. And they're all available at soulmart.me. This does keep me on the air, and I do appreciate it. All right, my Sagittarians and Sag Risings, I hope you have a good week. I hope you get your uh, career crap out of the way. Uh, namaste, and I'll see you in seven days. Live, love, be.